Good morning, fr friends. Happy Thursday to you. One of our favorite TV shows is Project Ru Runway. Watched season for, what is it, 16, 17 years now or something. Um, I just love watching people be creative, turn that creativity into something beautiful. Not necessarily the judging part of it, although, you know, that's part of the purpose of it of a show like Project Runway. But I was reflecting this morning on the uh, difference between an idea and the execution. That's often how people were judged. Um, well, you had a great idea, but the execution wasn't so great. But that wasn't the only way th people won. Sometimes when the execution wasn't great, they still won because they had an idea. They had an idea that was uh, more creative than somebody who did something really well, but, you know, wasn't interesting. And the reason this came to mind is that, you know, this pandemic it keeps forcing us or inviting us to learn new things. Um, and prior to this, technology was the thing that was most frustrating to me, um, made me most anxious, uh, was the thing that um, could make me anxious to the point of being angry. Um, and so today, yesterday, we were trying a couple new ideas. And so far, the execution of those new ideas hasn't been so wonderful. So I just have to think, okay, back to breathing, back to patience, back to, okay, we're, we're learning new things. Six, seven, eight weeks ago, I wouldn't have known how to do things I'm doing every day. So, uh, you know, back to uh, that word about patience. I don't want to stop having ideas and I want to learn how to execute better. And I think all of us uh, could take some, um, some deep breaths occasionally as we um, still, I mean, we're, not, we're just not going back. That's just not what we're going to be doing. So how do we embrace what we're doing? Learn, give ourselves patience, allow people to teach us, guide us, and uh, be good to ourselves. So um, I hope you're good to yourself today and hope you have a great day.